Hi, my name is Adrian, and today I'm going to look at content aware editing. So, let's import some video files into our media library. The first thing we see is that there are a couple of ways we can actually access content aware editing. One is by the little symbol here underneath the video clip. Alternatively, we could drag the whole of that clip to the timeline, highlight it, right click, and edit using content aware editing in the menu. And PD12 will auto analyze the video clip. So, to demonstrate the full capabilities, I'm going to use an old standard definition capture of a DV tape. It's an hour long, I've already analyzed it, and when I open up the content aware editing window, it shows us exactly what PowerDirector 12 has done. We have the preview screen and the timeline scrubber. We have the standard playback controls and our time codes. And we have a mark in and a mark out. So now we get to the sophisticated part. PowerDirector has analyzed this video. It's detected all the scene changes it's detected the areas of the video where there are zooms, pans, it's done some face detection, it's done some speech detection, it's looked at the motion, it's analyzed the shaky video, and it gives us a facility to auto fix all the segments at once. It's also analyzed it for poor lighting, and again, we can auto fix all segments. Let's have a look in more detail at some of these little individual characteristics. Let's have a look at this. What we have here is a left pan. Let's highlight it, click on it, play it. Let's have a look at the next one, which is a right pan. But this time we also have a zoom out above it. If we go and have a look at some face detection, and perhaps another one, it's pretty accurate and very clever. Let's move on. We can also look at speech, and it gives us an idea of whether it's certain that there's speech there, or whether it's not certain. We can also have a look at motion and shaky video, slight, medium, and poor lighting could be low or extra low. So how actually do we use this? If we want to take this particular section that we've identified, we put a mark in, we move along, and we finish taking the planes, we mark out, and we can either select this section we get a pop-up that tells us Cyberlink can automatically fix the shaky or poorly lit video. I'm going to say no to that at the moment. And that section is marked in blue and it becomes selected. If we were to take another section that we wanted to keep out, say up to here, we can mark out and we can deselect it and it's in the brown section. We don't always have to choose the mark in and mark out method to select or deselect. We can use other methods too. Let's look at our faces. If I select this section here, if I right click on that section, I can preview just this segment or I can add it to the selected list or the deselected list. In addition, if I use the standard Windows Shift key I can select a range. I can use the Windows control key to select sections that are separated from each other. And again, add them to the selected or deselected list. They appear in our list and I can play all the selected content one after another to see what it is. If I highlight one of the clips, 
the dustbin icon becomes usable and I can remove it from our list. If I press OK, the selected list is loading into our main timeline. as three individual clips capable of being edited like any other video. And that's the very clever content-aware editing. Thank you for watching.